The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Aaron Minkowski with your forecast for this Thursday. Good deal of sunshine for the first part of the day. We'll start off with temperatures near 60 degrees at 8 a.m. Be in the mid-70s by noontime under mostly sunny skies. Partly to mostly sunny skies later today with temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Slight chance for a shower or thunder shower down across the southern tier. Aaron, thanks. Good morning to you. I'm Edge Ranch. This morning, there are growing calls for changes inside police departments nationwide. And this morning, members of the state's Black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, and Asian Legislative Caucus are planning to propose a dozen new laws changing policies statewide. The reform package includes the repeal of Section 50A of New York's civil rights law, a ban on racial or ethnic profiling by police, and would establish the crime of strangulation. That caucus will propose the package at 3 o'clock this afternoon. The Buffalo Common Council Council would discuss the proposed budget for city police later this morning. In total, BPD would account for 20% of the city budget. They would get about $86 million, which is down $3 million from last year. There's been a push that's been gaining traction on social media to defund the department. They plan to voice their concerns during a common council meeting on Facebook Live today at 10. The woman who prosecutors say ran over three police officers with an SUV is now in custody, charged with assaulting a police officer. This happened Monday night on Bailey Avenue in Buffalo during a riot. Deanna Davis is being held on $200,000 bail and is due back in court later this month. And that's the 716 for you in two minutes. Thanks for being with us on this Thursday. The next update is available for you later today and always on WKBW.com. Have a great day. The 716 in two minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers.